Spiderific. Hooray for these amazing creatures. Spiders often get a bad rap, and some people are afraid of them, but only a few species are dangerous to humans, and even then, they won't bite unless they feel threatened. Spiders are not insects, and they are different in many ways. For example, spiders have two body parts, the front body section, called the cephalothorax ceph, alathorax, and an abdomen. Insects have three body parts, a head, thorax, and abdomen. Spiders have eight legs, while insects have six, and, in general, Spiders have only simple eyes not the compound eyes, that give many insects much better vision. All spiders are both carnivorous and venomous, but only a small percentage of them are potentially dangerous to humans. Spiders use their venom to paralyze their prey, and only bite otherwise if cornered, or trapped. Black widows are one of the most feared and misunderstood spiders, they do have powerful venom, but they are timid and shy still. It is best to avoid black widows they are usually large bodied black spiders with a red or a gloss shape on the underside the United States actually has five species of widow spiders three black one brown and one red the most venomous spider in the world to humans might be the Sydney funnel web spider before the development of antivenin the venom from the bite of this spider produced symptoms within minutes and often resulted in death the title of most venomous however is hard to claim As venom reacts differently in each individual tangle web spiders, this group includes the black widow. These spiders make messy looking, non-sticky webs that are often found in bushes or on or in. Buildings the webs are often called cobwebs, the spider hangs upside down in the middle of its web, waiting for ants or crickets to get tangled up or web spiders, these spiders create the most familiar webs think Halloween time. Made of a sticky silk to capture prey it usually takes about 30 minutes to spin this type of web, once prey is caught in the web, the spider quickly wraps it in more silk to keep it secure until dinner time. Most spiders that spin or shaped webs build a new web every day, recycling their silk supply by eating the old web funnel web spiders. Spiders from this group build webs that funnel down into the entrance of their burrow. The spider waits inside the burrow for its next meal, such as a cockroach. To trip over one of the silky lines anchoring the web, the spider feels the vibration, and dashes out to grab its prey nursery web spiders, using their silk webbing for the egg sac, the female fastens the sac to some leaves, and encloses it within a web to protect the eggs until they hatch spider silk is the strongest known natural fiber, with a breaking strength, greater than bone or tendon, and half the strength of steel. It was historically used for crosshairs in guns, and for fishing nets and stockings. Spider silk is a marvelous product, but because most spiders like to live alone, and will eat other spiders, the silk cannot be produced in large quantities, as with silk moth larvae, which are used to make silk cloth. Most spiders do not jump, but rely on their individual adaptations to catch prey snaring in webs, hiding in burrows, or camouflaging perfectly against their background. The jumping spider, as expected, does jump on its prey, and is said to be able to jump 40 times its own body length.
Jumping spiders are one group of spiders that are thought to have excellent vision. Wolf spiders, true to their name, chase down their prey. Many spiders use their silk as a drag line, so if they are knocked off their web or other resting spot, they can climb back up to safety. Young spiders can float or ride on the wind to a new area by releasing a long, silken thread for the wind to catch. This unique way of travel is called ballooning.